because in the first video of this GUI series, I actually showed you how to make the GUI. And in today's part, I am showing you how to add game bosses to it. This video took me quite a while to make the to make the model for you guys so you guys can just grab that and put that into your game and you will need to change a few things in the scripts however simple as that so i will be doing a third part soon showing you how to add developer products to your game which will be showing you how to add like coins and gems so let's get into the video first things you guys are going to want to do is open toolbox here in view make sure it's open on the left then just my models and then you're just gonna grab that oh i accidentally grabbed two but as you can see it's just a sword because the game pass i am using in this video is i'm making a sword game pass so you can ungroup me here so replicated storage means just bring it into replicated storage and then ungroup and you've got the sword in there Service script service, bring this in here and click on ungroup. Then start a GUI, put it in start a GUI and ungroup. just so you guys know I added my GUI in as well. Um so you guys can use that exact one if you really like this design. However, if you have made your own, just come into shop frame. One thing I did add though is these little buttons here and what i made happen with them is if so when you click on shop to open up the shop it will open on the game pass tab which is how you get this sword but then when you click on this coins it's currently empty and same for gems however it will show coins that you can buy as developer products again that will be in the next video and same for gems just gems so you can change around with those buttons a bit if you want maybe rename them all that stuff but if you have already made your gui from the first video then just come here delete the close shop delete then just come here you need to delete close shop you need to delete text label you need to delete open shop and then you should be good and also if you want to use this same sword image that i used just come on to your board which is under scrolling frame game pass roblox sword game pass and you just put it in here so first thing we're going to want to do is come to this local script i put in screen gui open this up and the first thing you're going to want to do is find your game pass so i named this roblox sword and what you're going to want to do is let's say you named your game pass gravity coil whether it's got a capital or not let's say you typed it like this gravity coil when you created the game pass if you have it like that then you're going to want to type it here just as this so gravity coil no capitals no nothing then just put game pass with a capital g there but then you're also gonna just want to copy this little gravity coil game pass put it here and then scrolling frame game pass put the frame your game pass is in so if you keep the same frame scrolling frame game pass will be fine and then copy this part here and put it there then also come here and what you're going to want to do is just grab that and then just type id capital i and d at the end then here you're going to want to find your game pass id so what you need to do to find that is come on to google this is going to need to be published if you want to have game passes just make it private if you don't want to publish it fully yet which means only you and people you want see it so here here is my game you just come here and in the link at the top you see some numbers here just grab that and copy them then come down 
here and paste it there. Then you're going to want to change this to Gravity Coil Game Pass. Then here, just change it to what that is there, which will be Gravity Coil Game Pass ID. And here, just copy what you have changed that to there. And then everything should be fine. We can close this script off. Actually, let me just change this back to my Roblox Sword Game Pass. So when I demonstrate, it actually does work. Also, if you want to just create your own GUIs here rather than using my starter kit, then let's say we're going to use this open coins one. This set, actually, no, let's do the game pass one. So, this game pass one, open it up, local script. It's just this script. So, we've got the game, the little part we're going to be opening, which is the scrolling frame game pass in this case, at the top, true. Then we've just got the two that we're going to have invisible. And then let's say we're gonna open the coins one, we just switch game with coins. So that will open it properly. And we can go to server script service and look at this script. So if you are doing the gravity coil, just change this to gravity coil game pass ID. Then put in your game pass ID here. And then put what you have changed that to here. And obviously if you're doing a gravity coil change gravity coil to change the sword dot parent to gravity coil dot parent and make sure to have equals player dot backpack because that means it will be in their backpack so they can actually use it then classic sword that's just the name of the one i got when i went on to view and toolbox obviously you can make your own thing i just wanted to make it quick so you guys can do it however this is just an example so if you want to make your own then that is also fine then make sure to have this because this will prompt it and then once it's done it will give you the roblox sword or gravity coil if you're doing the gravity coil so here gravity coil instead of roblox sword then yeah just change all the stuff to the thing you're making and then one thing you're going to want to do is your item Make sure it has a handle. If it does, then it should look like this. And then once you've got this, this is basically just your sword, which you will be getting afterwards. So before I show you what it looks like, I'm just going to show you how to upload a game pass if you don't know already. So we're going to come to Google. We're going to go to create. And then we just find our game that we're gonna want to go to we can go or if you have published a game you can just find your profile then we're going to come to store then here it has a pass here however let's say we didn't have that yet it would start with add pass and not this roblox sword so we click on add pass and then we just get a game pass name let's say we want to make it gravity like just put gravity then we're going to want to find an image so i'm just going to choose an image then i will be back with you in a second okay so because then i have chosen uh image, then you can add a description however you can always come back to that you can always come back to all of these and change it if you want then preview it will come up because the image is being approved by roblox however that shouldn't take long a couple of minutes max and then we have this here then you can find it so now guys oh one thing i forgot to say is if you want to test this out yourself i recommend going into delete here. so clicking on the three dots then delete that doesn't delete it from roblox that just deletes it from your profile so if you want it back you can make it one robux i'm not sure whether you can make it free i think you can however i know you can definitely make it one robux and then just press delete and you no longer have it which means then when you press play you have this here click on the image and then this purchase comes up it says this is a test purchase your account will not be charged it says that in roblox studio however if you are testing this out in the actual roblox game make sure you read the small text because it probably will say um your accounts amount of robux will be this amount after purchase so since this is a purchase and i will not be charged by now 
Okay. And now we have it in our inventory. We can close this off. And look, we have our sword. Also, guys, I would like to show you how these sections also work. So you can scroll here. But then if you come to coins, you can also scroll and same for gems. I haven't put anything in there yet. However, I will be doing that in the next video. If you enjoyed this video or found it useful in any way, then please leave a like. And if you are new here, maybe even subscribe. Until next time. Bye, guys.